Well, good morning, everybody. Linda Ray, Texas Girls Farm. And um, just getting out. It's a little chilly this morning. It was chilly yesterday morning. Uh, um, and there they go after a squirrel. He's trying to focus in. Ah, junior, trying to jump up the tree. He ain't no squirrel dog. But, uh, been, uh, working on Christmas stuff. Hadn't been videoing. So I figured I'd get the camera out this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Dad. And, uh, take y'all along. Uh, show y'all how everything burnt up from the front for what we raked up the other day. Everybody's down there waiting patiently. But I got to go back in after I finish feeding and stuff and um, check with the post office to see what's going on. I figured all the stuff would be delivered GPS so I gave mother's address. Well, mother doesn't have a mail receptacle. So y'all know that that's a, a mess a mess there. Look at them all. I have to get my other container. They're all Look at them. Hey chickens. Good morning, chickens. They're all waiting patiently to get out. I'll be back with y'all in just a second. I'll get them their grub. That's what they're waiting for. And get them their their feed. Let's see if I can do this. Here they all come. Uh, she's already jumping up. Come on. Come on, girls. Y'all get out the way so I don't step on you. Those guys are already out here patiently, patiently waiting. See if we can do this. Oh, yeah. Put some in there. Put some down there. Put some down there. And then we throw it, throw it over here. We can put that down now. This is what they're waiting for. Look at them all. They'll jump up here too. Let's see if I can hold the bag. There it goes. I told y'all to get out the way so you didn't get stepped on. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> there they are. They love them some mealworms. You love them some mealworms. They one? You not get none? Yeah, I was out here the other day and I let one of the other roosters from the other side in here because um, he was aggravating one of the hens that was outside and um, the only one rooster over here that challenged him was um, Leghorn. Let me put that back in. And these girls, I don't know if you can see, she likes to stay in here so I put her little food down. They got some food up here. I got them in different places because they feed, they like to fill that up. And then I'll give Mr. some. Pop this back off. And then I got for, let me get him some mealworms too. Put him a little bit in here. And throw a little bit out there. So, them little leghorn chickens. Hey, leghorn. Try to give him some, and it don't work. And there's Mister. There's Mister. Mister, Mister. How you doing, buddy? I'm climbing here and pour him some food. Check his water. He's got water. I fill it up in a little bit. And then I check all their other water. But I'm going to go feed and let out the other ones. I keep him in here because 
he's not all got his feathers all back and they'll attack him the little leghorn chicks attack him there's some girls but, uh, let me get me some more feed and some more millworms I throw this out there for the other eight but you know they free range most of the day so they really don't need it but I'm gonna go let them out and get the goats feed and feed them everybody's slowly making their, their way back in here so and I'll come in and clean out their water and um, I've already done the pen, but I uh, did the coop, but I need to do it a little bit more, get the rake and rake some of this up. So I'll be back. I'll be back shortly. And she's already flown out. And if y'all see, I uh, rake that up one day last week and burn it. I was going to try to get down here and cut some of this wood up. Um... Either today or tomorrow. Tomorrow I think it's supposed to rain, but um, I'm trying to wait. I've got me a little bit, I ordered me a little bit bigger chainsaw that's battery operated. And um, I'm not for sure exactly when it'll come in. This is the feed for the goats. Sweet feed corn, cracked corn, and a few alfalfa, alfalfa, alfalfa pellets, and then I mix some, this, a thing of probiotics in it. So let me get their feed mixed up and I'll be back with y'all. Well, the peppers are hanging in there. I got a bell pepper bacon. There's a bunch more jalapenos, the banana peppers. Yeah, everything's doing really good. There's some more peppers over there just starting. You can see them. Some little bitty ones. And this is all doing good. Strawberry plants are still trying to stay alive. But you can see I've got a milk house heater in here. So it hasn't got really cold. It got down, I think, in the 30s. Um... One, one night and everything is still making it so it's those colder temps as you can see I put the probiotics in there then only get a little bitty scoop mix it in there there's you Jim good morning again good morning mama good morning she's like no say good morning to me just come feed me so alright I'm going to get their food and I'm going to go feed them and I'll be back with y'all shortly she keeps making her way around everywhere she's come up here to visit there's the chickens all eating what are you doing girl Whoop. i didn't mean to scare you with the bucket that's the one who keeps going over there he stays over there a lot he's been giving me a hard time getting in in the afternoon <laughs> but she loves her chickens don't you gracie don't you don't you love your chickens? Yes, you sure do. You're a good girl. I got their gate open for them. Dutton's over there eating. I'll come back out in a little bit. I'm going to go in and uh, fix some breakfast. And then I'll come back out and water and clean the pen. And I don't know what Maggie. Y'all see Maggie out there? She's way out there. Let me see if I... There she is. I don't know what she's doing out there. Just sitting around. But, uh... It's supposed to warm up a little bit, so I figured I'd get back off in, in, in the, this morning and get some breakfast made at 8. And, um, and then come back out in a little bit. It didn't warm back up much yesterday, but, um... And it's supposed to stay cloudy. I'm trying to get the gate and film at the same time. And it's supposed to stay <laughs> she, up there. cloudy most of the day. <laughs> getting in getting in Grace's food. Grace, what are you doing? 
keep that there. But it's so nice, all the leaves off the trees, you can really see everything. Maggie, what you got? What you got, Mag? What you got, Maggie? She's been staying outside in the nighttime. She, I don't know what it is, but she's turning in to be full-blown uh, livestock guardian dog. There, the heater's on. I don't know what the temp is. It's about 40, 49, 50 degrees. But they'll all be out later. She's just still telling you. Maggie, I'm going to go fix some breakfast. Are you going to come? She'll come. I'll call her and tell her we got treats. There she is. But, yeah, that's what we're going to do. The gate's open in the back. Y'all can go out that way. I ain't going to let you out the front gate. That's a bad habit. Here she come. Uh-uh, leave her alone, Mag. Leave her alone. Come on. Come on, Maggie. All right, guys. Let's go fix some breakfast. And let's go fix some breakfast. So we'll be back with y'all in, in a little bit. Uh, and uh, see what we can't get into today. May have to go into town with all that mess with the post office and Amazon. Oh, aggravating. Aggravating. You can almost, I think you can. Let's see. Can almost see, I think, our trail. No? Our trail would be, no, it's that away. But you can see, it's clear there. You can see the other trail coming down. But I uh, got away for Brooke to set that big one. Uh, I'm going to check to see the wind. I may go down there. And try to burn some of that because since it's going to rain, I may keep an idea, keep a lookout on the weather. But I did come back out here and cleaned up all of this. Oh, this was the only section that I didn't clean up when we were working on that. And there was a, a small pine tree that had been knocked down, and I cut it down, threw it on the pile burnt raked everything got a lot of the stickery vines cut and um as you can see i went a little further a little further down here which i tried to get around the stumps that i know i'm gonna have to come back and cut i raked all this area to about right there still need to come over and then got it into that but as you can see there's all kind of vines I cut a bunch but there's still a lot more so I got kind of petered out and uh, raking so I figured I'd, I'd, I'd stop and give myself a break but some of these trees through here need to come out and then break these leaves but I really can't do much with them all them trees but it looks so much better doesn't it just be able to see everything okay so I transgressed and went a different direction now I'm gonna head to the trailer and make some breakfast come on guys let's go make some breakfast Maggie Maggie let's go make some breakfast but I started pulling leaves out and raking so I could burn burn straight down it won't have to get up in those woods around the trees but as you can see it's looking a whole lot better this i'd already thinned some of the trees out over here um it might have been last year so it's just a matter of raking and i could pull the leaves away from the trees and just set it on fire and burn it like we did this pile right here the other day which i'll have to have more than just me here to do that but you see all the leaves back there all the leaves but yeah it's looking nice looking nice all right we're gonna go fix some breakfast right june let's go 
Oh, had run up moms actually had run in town to the post office and pick up some packages so I wanted to drop them off at mom so we can get them wrapped but got a new baby it was out here the other day when I came up but they've got the ear tag in it now and my brother-in-law was telling me they got a new one so I think this makes number five and I can't remember if it's a girl or a boy I think it may be a boy because of the ear that the tags in but isn't it cute I don't dare go out there one of the mamas one of the mamas when they have a baby will uh, come after you what are you doing mama but I don't know which one it is but see it's got an ear tag in its right ear and all these girls have it in the left ear so I can't remember baby baby Mama! Anyway, I thought I'd share that with y'all. I don't know how many more that she still has to, to cab. Maybe, maybe there's five more to cab. He's sleeping. Nice size little cab. Okay, I gotta go get back in. I right, fill up some holes that the dogs dug in Mom's backyard. Just love some baby calves. As you can see, started limbing some of the small branches. I've got most of these cuts now to so start my way back that way. But you can see the pile up there so far that I've got done. Um, so we'll see what this... Um, what I can get done <clears throat> with the rest of this. I was trying to get the smaller ones before I came and started working on some of these. Um, but I may start working on these so I can go in that way into um, the pile, which would make more sense. But I think I've got one more long one to cut to work on this right here so uh, let me get off of here and see what I can't get cut up I got that far back in the pile and um, actually some of these are cut so I ring all three battery all four batteries out so you can see there's some cut and I just need to drag them out and some of the bigger ones are left but some of them are loose where I can get them so I'm gonna go and there's that pile up there. I'll show y'all that. Let's zoom in on that one. That one's big. Not as big as the one that me and Brooks got to burn. But I've got limbs and stuff to pick up here. I figured I'd run the batteries out and then come back and pick up the limbs. And then I got one start over there because I burn over there too. So I'm going to go put the um, batteries on the um, charger. And it'll take two of them about an hour to charge up. So I don't know if, I, if I'm going to come back and cut or not. Um, I'll probably just work on cleaning stuff up. But y'all see how far I've made it. And I put that log on the, on the other side. I don't know if I can carry it or not. I'm going to try this one. Yeah, I can't do nothing with that. But um, I didn't get quite all the limbs I wanted to cut. So... I'm going to go do that, and I'll be back. As you can see, I went ahead and raked up piles. We'll see how it burns. I made it where it'll burn all in the middle, and I'll watch it when it gets around those treetops over there. But most of it's leaves and those sweet gum balls. And the wind is, right now, not blowing. So, I'm going to burn this. Got that all piled up and got it cleaned up as much as I could. I moved those back. Only place it's close to the trees is down there. So um, we'll see how it burns. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to be right here with it. So I'll be back with y'all shortly. Got that much over there left and 
that much over there left. I set this on fire, but the only thing that was burnt was the leaves underneath it. So it's just going to sit here and smoke this mold. Or it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So um, I'll keep. I'll come down and keep an eye on it tonight. But all that wood is green. So unless the wind gets up, I don't have to worry about that because I've burnt there. A lot and I've never had any problems before and these I'll just keep breaking them into themselves and actually I've been raking some of it over to this pile and that one's almost burnt every day and I just put a few more leaves on it so everything's looking pretty good I would didn't dare set that one because it the fence is too close to it plus I want to get some of these make get some of these big logs on that and push it down some so um made quite a bit of a dent in it um, i'm pleased for with a little bit of work that i got done today so um it's kind of a little bit of everything in this video i started it early in the morning and finishing it up about feeding time so uh, cam i was sitting here warm staying by the Iron staying warm. Everybody's over here. Everybody's crashed. Blessing and and Maggie's over there. And Junior's right here. So if you like the content, hit that thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, think about coming over and subscribing to the channel. And um, hit the notification bell so every time we upload a video, you'll be notified. And I'm going to keep an eye on this. I think it's those leaves that I pushed. I just pushed a bunch of leaves up underneath there. You can see. So, none of the, none of the logs have caught on fire. So, I think we're going to be good with that one. Anyway, I hope y'all had a good Thursday. The girls just called and Shane's wanting to come over this weekend. They want me to come and pick it. They're getting early dismissal tomorrow. Want me to come pick them all up. So, we'll see how all that goes. So, uh, Y'all have a good evening.